The 3.5mm funnel jack is not long for this world. Manufacturers are dropping them like flies, and a proper cabled replacement has yet to emerge as any kind of true standard. Still, one manufacturer this year has not only retained this port, they're celebrating audiophile grade playback. Juan Carlos Bagnell here for Pocket Now, and here's our LG V30 Real Audio Review. Let's get the negative out of the way first. The speaker on the V30 is just okay. It's scratching the bare minimum loudness for what we'd want to hear on alerts. Music and video playback is thin and a bit brittle compared to other mono solutions. It's when we plug in some headphones that the V30 launches to the top of the class. This is the winner, bar none. An incredible force for powering any audio hardware you might want to plug in. A hallmark of the V series, the phono jack can detect the resistance of the device connected and tune the amp to appropriately power the headphone or speakers. That makes you less likely to overdrive consumer fare, less likely to distort car and speaker playback, while reserving some huge punch for higher impedance pro hardware. Thanks to Qualcomm's chipset improvements, most Android flagships this year have been able to properly output 32-bit audio. So in terms of data processing numbers, it's been an even playing field. Yet the DAC on the V30 still manages to best all other competitors for audio quality. Better frequency response, lower noise floor, better signal-to-noise ratios. When feeding this phone high-quality audio files, this is the best representation of what that file should sound like on any mobile device produced in 2017. And for most people listening to compressed audio files, the signal processing combined with the louder amp will still deliver a noticeably improved experience over the competition. Using our Fio X5 as a high watermark, the V30 is able to hang with a high-quality dedicated music player in nearly all measurements with its only significant loss in amp output. This isn't marketing, this is not a gimmick. The V30 really is a phenomenal, audiophile grade performer. We would like to see LG deliver some of the ear scan profiling we've enjoyed on HTC and Samsung phones. But the V30 does include a new set of filter profiles to tune impulse characteristics, altering how the phone responds to attack and decay. This is in addition to a general set of EQ profiles producing subtle shifts in reproduction. I personally prefer the slow filter, especially when there's a healthy mix of jazz or classical in my playlist. But we're confident that you should be able to find a good fit for your ears. And for all the noise that Google has received for including 25 volume steps on the Pixel 2, when using the high quality DAC mode, the V30 now includes 75. 75 steps of volume. Again, not a gimmick. Considering the raw power on tap, finer gradation means the user can find exactly the right volume for the most comfortable listening experience. So let's wrap this up. Where's that leave us with the audio on the LG V30? Well, the speaker is a bit of a bummer, I can't lie there, but my audio listening has never been more diverse, and my combo of wired and wireless use still maintains that any phone I personally buy has to have good support for both. When I'm soundtracking an activity like working out or listening to podcasts in the car, Bluetooth is definitely more convenient. When I want to power my nicer headphones and I want the highest fidelity free of the signal dropouts from Bluetooth, Cables are the only way to go. We all know the 3.5mm phono jack will eventually be discarded on all devices, my guess within the next two years. I started the real audio review here knowing it would not be a permanent fixture on this channel. The frustration though, we don't have a true standard universally accessible to replace it. I can't plug ear pods into a MacBook. And Google might make USB-C even more fragmented with their own audio, air quotes, standard on the Pixel. The cynic in me feels like all of these certification labels and Bluetooth peripherals are more a way to drive up value add-on accessory purchases when the phone is bought than a way to really improve audio for consumers. See, audio doesn't change much over time. So how do companies get consumers to re-buy products they're already happy with? 
especially when those products likely don't have batteries that will eventually burn out. If you're watching this video, chances are already better than average you've probably invested money in some nice cans or earbuds. Now, some phones will power nicer audio gear well, but only one phone this year can be the best. The V30 is that phone by a respectable margin. As always, thanks so much for watching. Be sure to subscribe to this channel and hit that bell icon for more reviews like these and help us out with some sharing on your favorite social networks. For Pocket Now, I'm Juan Carlos Bagnell, some gadget guy on Twitter and Instagram, and I will catch you all on the next review.